One really has to keep a good sense of humor these days. Dabble with cynicism, understand sardonic perspectives. Really, really, really finely tune your sense of irony. Because the opinions we're exposed to day in and day out are all commercial opinions. They're packaged and framed for commercial consumption and basically just to keep us all confused and in line. <laughs> to keep us all pointing the finger at each other so that we don't notice what's going on in the world. I saw some other reports uh, from the other side of the narrative divide about uh, Kyle, the boy who shot people at the, at the protest with uh, many more uh, camera angles from phones and whatnot and different witnesses chiming in and so on and so forth. It reminds me so much of Hong Kong where you have all the phones taping everything and depending on how you edit them together you can, you can pitch a different narrative. And so nobody really knows what the fuck's going on anyway. But, you know, to one side, he's a, a white nationalist maniac. Kid's only 16 or 17 anyway. And to the other side, he's just a good Samaritan who was trying to help out and got caught up in the mayhem and had to pull the trigger to protect himself. Well, yeah, isn't that what America's about? Conceal carry, open carry. Gotta have my gun, gotta be able to defend myself. And I've been saying for years, that leads to you being in court and in jail <laughs> and to having killed someone. And you probably could have lived your whole life without having had that experience and be quite a happy boy. So, everyone's packaging their narratives and feeding it to the ideologically correct, untainted, pure audience of one's choice or commitment. And that's the way it goes. And if you say one thing, if you interject a word that's a hot button word like bubblegum into a paragraph that's in an essay that's 3,000 words long, that's it. If they see that in the first few pages, they're not going to read anything else, much less understand the context or what you're trying to say. So we are all being literally programmed to be fools. Ideologically correct idiots. And it's a damn shame. I can understand why so many people like myself who are trying to make sense of things get so frustrated because uh, the information ecosystem is so polluted and grotesque and it's polluted by corruption and money that normal decent people can't fucking make sense of anything and the sense makers the smart ones the rebel wisdom folks and the Jim Rutt show folks and whatever your cup of tea is you know whatever you listen to Sam Harris or you know, the ghost of Bob Newhart. It doesn't really matter. Oh, this is a good place to talk to the camera, but 
there is a dock. And if he starts chatting, because I'm talking to a camera, then it's gonna be a real big distraction. But it's comfortable. And look, there's no people around here. 